guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here welcome to all things nursing here i post content that has to do with my journey in nursing school i'm a third year honors degree nursing student i specialize in midwife community nursing and general nursing and as well as mental health nursing so yeah um welcome to my channel and if you're old welcome back so in today's video we are going to dive into um you know as a foreign nurse as a foreign um health practitioner who didn't study in namibia and would like to work in namibia what are the requirements what's the procedure this is a highly requested video um on my channel so let's dive into it for first of all i need you to familiarize yourself with the website this website is um Ooh, let me just unplug this website is called hpcna which stands for health professions um, council of namibia that is what it stands for this body has been running for the longest it deals with um you know giving us our licenses it deals with um, basically it's what controls the health professions of this country so you finish nursing school you finish medical school pharmacy school occupational therapy psychologists whatever health related field it is you go register with them to be officially obtain your nation um or your national uh license exam to be able to practice in the hospital to be able to see patients even as a student in my first year i took an oath i paid for my license as a student to practice in the hospitals to be able to see patients and touch them so without that student license i am not authorized to go into the hospitals country wide and to do what i'm doing and as well as they that's the body where we submit our log books where they check it if you are really following the scope of practice for that particular field it could be for nursing it could be for pharmacy uh, for dental dentistry occupational therapy every um health profession course has its own log books uh trust me i'm sure you guys are familiar with that if you are in any of a health profession school obviously the log books is literally like you know our life and everything so that body deals with all that and controlled everything and they don't joke around trust me they do not joke around if you don't do your stuff you are out of the system you misbehave don't conduct yourself as a health profession and follow the ethics you're out literally no second chances no nothing so yeah um what are the requirements or how do you go about it if you let's start with um um medicine or oh, let's start with nursing, then we can end with nursing, uh, medicine. So if you are a foreign nurse, it's more or less the same, actually. It's more or less the same. So let me just cover the two of them um, together. So if you are a foreign nurse, foreign nurse, foreign doctor, foreign psychologist, foreign whatsoever. So foreign would mean you have not studied in Namibia. You've studied outside Namibia, but you would want to pursue working in Namibia. It could be in the city or wherever it is in the country. So requirement is, I'm going to specifically read it from the Health Council website so that I don't omit anything, although I do know some things in my head and as well as um, from people that, uh, you know, are here from foreigners, especially I come across people from different um countries nigeria Ghanaians, uh people from cuba people from uh, spain um not spain spain <laughs> uh people from pakistan uh people from zimbabwe people from south africa people from zambia people from botswana people from lesotho um who i've come i've met so many people in those hospitals from various countries so it is possible for you to pursue a career here it is um allowed it is considered all you have to do is follow follow the procedures and um yeah pray that you um get into the system or you get a job from the hospital that you wish to apply for i've especially seen nurses zim nurses who have stayed here for the longest like over 10 years and all that so yeah anyways when you go onto the website there's different consults there's the council of applied health Con professions medical and dental council nursing council pharmacy council social work and psychology council so i'm gonna go on to the med medical 
and dental council. So the requirement says applicant must apply for registration as medical or dental intent to the office. Now you all know if you have done medicine or whatever profession it is, we are supposed to intern two years internship. Then you can move to the next rank, medical officer, or you can move into whatever rank. So for nursing, it's a little bit different. We intern while we are, um, you know, um, doing our, um, how should I say, doing our clinicals or so. But then when we start working, that one year of working is called a year of probation. You know, basically you get mon monitored uh, when you're doing the work and, you know, people a supervisor or somebody higher has to you know always make sure that uh, you've done the right thing kind of but then after that when you're off probation you are not a sort of independent to make decisions this is just to prevent medical errors to prevent to prevent medical hazards because you are still fresh from university and uh, um, the chances of you you're not used to working environment you're not used to uh, you know that whole experience is a bit different from when you're a student and then when you are employed you know so um, that's just a purpose to you know because we're dealing with people's lives so it's to prevent you know all those things so yeah anyways you need proof of citizenship first of all and then copies of academic qualifications uh, duly certified by the commissioner of arts so yeah you need academic transcripts from first year to your final year and then um, attached to it as testimonial as well from your university. And then you need um, proof of qualification evaluation from the NQA. That is uh, Namibia Qualification Authority or Foreign Trained Graduate FTG. So this is an institution that if we have studied abroad, you take it to that institution and um, you are um, not, it's not an institution, but it's a body that deals with accreditation. So they, uh, uh, how should I say, transfer the your academic records from a foreign country into the system or the scale of Namibia. And then we see uh, where exactly do you fall on the range, you know, on the um, university scale or tertiary scale that we use here. Where exactly do you fall? Is it that you're falling lower of range, good, excellent, or so, you know. So basically, that's what they deal with. As well as, I'll write the full name just right here so you can go onto that website and then find out, okay, um, should you send your transcript before to them and then how much is it for payment to them? And then, um, yeah, basically, as well as all documents should be translated in English. So perhaps you studied in Russia or Ukraine, or perhaps you studied in a country that is non-English um, speaking. So make sure you translate all your documents into English. And then they say you need proof of qualification evaluation by Educational Co Commission of for foreign trained medical graduates. So this is... Um, in the country that is namibia and as well as in your country so you need you need that as well they need to translate um your qualifications to that level so that another country is able to you know recognize it and say oh no it is authentic and that and then you need proof of payment of application fee that is non-refundable i will click on the fee just to let you know how much it is and then um switch it and then it says the nature contents and extent or orbit, uh, ambit of evaluation is determined by the council from time to time to test the basic knowledge in your following major domains to, uh, to, to be covered during the internship. So this is basically when you have all your documents and everything ready, um, you would write um, an exam, you know. So that exam contains uh, different uh, bodies. So for medicine, it will contain surgery, uh, it will contain ops and gyne, it will contain um, internal medicine, it will contain what else? Pediatrics and psych uh, psychiatry, yes. And then for um, dental, it's dental radiology and you know all that. I'm not so much familiar with dentistry, but all your modules and then for nursing, they will ask you the scope of practice for nursing uh, and they like to do um to give scenarios so let's say um patient um has heartburn what are the 
what are the patient's actual problems what are potential problems and then um solutions to this problem so a scenario or let's say you are working in an emergency department and then uh, there is a scenario where there was an mva mva is motor vehicle accident and three cars were coming in so how would you manage the situation as a nurse and you obviously know we sort of have different colors in the emergency department um, you first start with your first aid to stop any bleeding or anything then you separate patients from severely injured to those that can wait and all that you know that whole thing so and also confidence you know with confident with confidence so yeah um for nursing i'm not so sure if our exam is written or orally because i know for us we do two parts we write and then we do orally so i think basically it's the same thing you're also going to do the oral part and then you're going to do the uh theory part as well so yeah uh those are the requirements everything is on the website um you can go through and just specifically know what are the documents but yeah proof of citizenship transcript requirements and then have finances money ready because these exams are for uh, they're not free you have to pay for them and as well as they are written in namibia so you'll have to come all the way to namibia and write them here it's not written online or anything like that so the fees are costing um let's see uh let's see let's see so it, it depends on you know it depends on what it is okay but i think they don't have it them here on their website but when you write to them and you email to them and you like apply uh you sort of you sort of uh they let you know what it is so yeah scope when you go to the website there's that helps you with different scopes of practices so click on it and familiarize yourself with what should you study or how should you prepare for this exam that scope of practice will guide you they are here on the website and then as well as additional examinations if there are any and um so yeah as well as yep so basically this is it this is basically it and how to um go about it and to oops and how to go about it and to to register and the requirements so yeah you will just feel everything you see feel it like that and then follow the steps so yep guys that's basically it and um yeah i would uh, do a separate videos that talks about uh salaries let's cover salaries in our next video and then we just dive into how much it is foreign nurses get paid here and um yeah i would also share with you some experiences from uh, the different foreign nurses but that's the procedure um nothing comes easy everything can be stressful but if you are focused and you really want something you do it um the the right way and you'll follow the steps please don't take shortcuts don't do those things of paying for who who knows who who doesn't work the website is here and i was even reading directly from the website even though i knew some of the things because i do not want to be biased or i do not want to you know assume whatsoever read 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 on the website to inform yourself and um if you have questions always in our comment section or my Instagram and Martha Cupid, it is open. As well as if you know a foreign nurse that is working here, a foreign doctor, a foreign pharmacist that is working here, you know, hit their inbox and ask them. But some of uh, things change every year. Every year they update things. But more or less, things that are going to be the same is uh, exams. There's always going to be an exam. There's no way for you to not write an exam and then obtain a license in this country. Uh, things that are going to be the same would obviously be citizenship uh, requirements or documents and as well as the transcript. So a few things that may change here is perhaps um, exam fees that will be perhaps changed yearly and as well as perhaps the way in which they structure the exams. So unfortunately, um, there isn't really what I say the people that people just come and then whatever they study and prepare you know from their school it could be nursing school or medical school then they prepare for the exam there isn't really uh, a time period of saying okay no now you guys would uh, be taught or would 
like a preparation class for the exams i haven't heard of anything that people do here even my friends that started in russia in cuba and various they just you know did prepare whatever they prepared um for themselves you know in the different um five domains that they need to to know that is pediatric surgery and whatsoever and familiarize themselves with the basics and everything and just went to write the exam spread and then went to write the exams so yeah basically that is just how you should prepare and ask where you don't know don't assume read go onto the websites read read and then see it with your own eyes hear it with your own ears and then take the action so yeah i'll see you guys in the next video and i hope this video is helpful so toodles